diamonds won't burn in air, but air is only about 20% oxygen. So if you crank that up to about 100% oxygen, diamonds, which are only made of carbon, the same stuff as charcoal, will burn quite happily in pure oxygen. But you've got to get it awfully hot to get them to burn. You've got to get it up to several hundred degrees before it will start to burn. So I wanted to know, if I could get a diamond to burn, would it melt its way through gold? You see, diamond is the best thermal conductor out there. So the hope is that a burning diamond will just melt its way straight through a piece of gold, because gold, by comparison to diamond, is a relatively poor thermal conductor. So the general idea is an apparatus like this. The whole thing needs to be mounted on a very good thermal insulator. And in this case, I chose glass. So the hope is that the burning diamond will melt its way through the gold. And after it's done that, it'll actually just fall down into the base. And after the diamonds consumed all the oxygen down there, it'll just go out because there's no more oxygen left. Which means I don't burn all of my diamond because I really don't want to burn all of my diamond if I've got a choice about it. Now the initial setup of this apparatus is a derivative of the one I used in Can Gummy Bears Melt Gold? And for that, what you needed was an oxygen tank. So this is a fish tank that was filled with pure oxygen. But it turns out that wasn't quite enough on its own, that you actually had to blow, you had to agitate the oxygen as well. And rather than just putting a fan in the tank, what I did is I blew the oxygen directly onto the gummy bear or carbon or whatever in the tank, and that gave you a very high temperature. Now, I also learned while doing that that it's actually quite hard to get graphite to burn because it's such a good thermal conductor that you just can't get the whole thing hot enough to burn. And I fully expected that to be the case with diamond. Okay, so the gummy bear failed me. The chocolate fell me so now i'm going for the big guns graphite um which is basically charcoal so i'm just going to cut me off a little piece of graphite perfect let's cut groove with the gold there we go that's the gold in the graphite when i doubt chocolate is your friend so we need to use a chocolate igniter on this. That's gonna work. Come on, baby, I think it's going. Are you kidding? Not even that ignited my graphite. Right. This means war. Oh, there we go, got it, got it. So that's the graphite burning. No flame on it, but it's, oh, and I melted the gold, I've done it, I've done it. Oh, that's awesome. So that bead there is the gold, sat in the middle. Gold at a thousand degrees. Okay, so that's the basic setup. You've got, as you see from my finger, this is all tiny. This is coming in from a high voltage generator. That's going to give me a spark, that's going to light the chocolate, but that needs to conduct down to the base, which is what this is for. So, chocolate is basically oil. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dollop of chocolate there and get the diamond in there. So, and you've got to get this up to a thousand degrees to melt it. So we will see what happens. I am, I am unsure as to what's going to happen there. Okay, excellent. That's partially molten. Oh. Well 
diamond <laughs> diamond cake <laughs> that's actually pretty good so there you have a real diamond cake that's gold and a diamond coated with chocolate Here we go. Here we are. We're up. Wow. Exploding chocolate. Here goes the tape. Can I set the diamond on fire? It's the real question. And on fire. I could see through the diamond. But no. Tricky. Okay, so it's time to rethink the strategy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this off to make a test tube here, and I'm going to constrict it probably a little further up, actually, about there, so that I can put the gold in here. Then I'm going to put a little tube into the side, so that I can actually blow the oxygen in here. Comes out the top. I light the diamond on the top and then I drop it down onto the gold and then we'll see if it will melt the gold so first of all I've got to round that going off oops, I cracked the glass, that was careless cracking the glasses it will all heal up Here's my dimensions are going to be out a little oh. Attempted to do at this point, put the instruction in now. Right, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's not bad. Ah, now we're talking. Now <laughs> we are talking. Perfection. Right. Now we're going to need a little tube in off the side to put the oxygen in. Okay, that's about right. So now it's going to blow down onto my gold. And we'll see what happens. That one question, will my gold still go in there? The answer is, yeah, surprisingly well. Good. Alright, now we've just got to anneal the... Oh, fuck, it's hot. Now we've just got to anneal the whole thing, so... Big flame. Alright, so there's going to be all sorts of stress in here, so I'm just going to heat the whole thing up to the point where it's um, the whole thing's just about cherry red. And yeah, that's a bit hot actually. Just going to let that cool down. No, I'm just going to do that little bit on the end there, so let's just get that off. Okay, so that's the apparatus now actually cooling off the touch. 
it's got some soot on there, so if we just clean that off. Yeah, it's beautifully clean apparatus. So now, all I need to do is put my gold in there. Jiggle it around a bit. Not like that. There you have gold. I need to see if I can use diamond to mold gold. We will see. Diamond is now red hot. Might be hot enough to burn. Not hot enough to burn. Is that burning? I think that's burning. There we go, one burning diamond. This is gold. My god, that's so cool! That is so fucking cool! It's got a flame. That is awesome! That is just so cool! So diamond's one of the best thermal conductors. I'm just curious if I can actually get that guy into the middle. My god, it's putting out a lot of heat. Amazing. That's got to do it. Come on. That's almost white. Are we get any more on the oxygen? No, we're running on full on the oxygen. Something moved. It looks very much like gold is just too good of a conductor. But on the bright side, it was a real diamond. That's it. That? It's finished. I can't see any signs of melt on there whatsoever. It's going to be insanely hot though. That was putting out an awful lot of heat. So not even a slight sign of melt on that. So the diamond when it was at its hottest was just up about there somewhere. Now, I've got a confession to make here. This stuff with diamonds wasn't entirely random. It's part of something that I've needed to debunk this diamond batteries bullshit that the University of Bristol has been putting out. Meaning our diamond batteries have an incredible lifetime. They would only reach 50% power in the year 7746. Oh yes, there's a lot of bullshit to be busted in that video. But for the moment, he is just a taster. And since diamond is the hardest substance known to man, no other material could easily offer any more protection to the radioactive carbon-14. There we go, one burning diamond. And yeah, I've been preparing this for a couple of weeks. 
I mean, how long do you think it took the diamond to arrive from India? Something that you might want to bear in mind before people on the last video were accusing me of copying Cody Labs simply because we came out with similar videos within about 24 hours of each other. Seriously, guys, I was just messing around with my diamond one evening because I knew that after I'd burnt it, there wouldn't be much I could do with it, except, I don't know, maybe carbonate your drink or something. Actually, that sounds quite fun. A drink carbonated with diamond carbon dioxide. Huh, something else I've got to do now. So melting gold wasn't actually the primary goal here. You know, it was more of a two for one. If you're going to burn your diamond, you might as well do something cool with it. But honestly, now that I've tried this and know that these are real diamonds and not just cubic zirconia or something, I've ordered some more because I don't like failure like this. And I think I can do this. The diamond just needs to be pressed into the gold for a better thermal contact. But we shall see. Plus, who knows? I might think of some other fun stuff to do with the diamonds. So when I next get a diamond, what happens if you hit a diamond with a hammer? And if you want to enable more crazy ass projects like this one, you can support this channel directly through Patreon. And I'd be very grateful to have you as a supporter.